Welcome back to Impossible Color. Today I'm going to show you how to make a striking black and white image. So here's a photo that I took and I shot in color in the camera. I advise you to always shoot in color in camera and don't rely on the camera with its own black and white setting. Um, it's better to have the full information and be able to edit it later. So if you've worked in black and white images before, uh, one of the common ways that people would create it is they'd go image, adjust, and desaturate. And while this does strip the color away from your image, it doesn't really do the best, um, best interpretation of the tones relative to those colors. So I'm going to show you a different way of doing it. So let's turn that one off. And if you click down here, we're going to make an adjustment layer and select black and white. And you can see that it will automatically uh, set some values up for you. If you click the auto, you can change it a little bit more. And I'm just going to put this together in a separate layer. Gonna go new group from layers and call this B and W. Just so we can compare. And you can see that it, it already looks a lot better, and we didn't even individually adjust any of the colors. Just the contrast looks a lot better. So now if we go back into here. And going to our black and white layer adjustment layer. You can double click to bring it up. And now you can go through each individual color and adjust the tones based on there. So for blemishes in the face, they're usually a red color. So I'm going to brighten those up and draw more attention to the face as well. And for the yellow, we tweak that a little bit. Just little bits of greens uh, in the bark. I'm going to bring those down to make it blend in a little more. And I actually really like the contrast of bringing down the cyans. Gets it gives that a much richer feel. And also bringing down the blues slightly. Um, when we brought down the reds, we lost a lot of detail in the scarf, but we can reclaim that by bringing down the magentas. And this is what I end up with. And let's do a comparison to the basic technique. So hopefully you can see, get a much more striking image. Now, if you really wanted to take this a step further, you could do multiple adjustment layers and then you can create a layer mask by clicking this little guy down here. And you could block out certain areas. For example, we lost some strong highlights on the hair here. So let me pick a brush, soft brush. And set that to black. And you can individually paint out different parts of the image that you want to show through to the layer below. So you can go through your whole image like this and decide which parts of the image. If you make a mistake like I did there, you can just switch it to white, paint it back in. So there you go. That's everything you need to know about getting a striking black and white image. Hope you liked watching Impossible Color. If you have any comments or ideas to add below, please do so in the comment section. And if you got other ideas for quick tip videos, please send them my way as well. See you next week.